If you are going to register them brand new, you click on register patron here. And I'm just going to walk you through some of the boxes that you're going to fill in. You're going to scan the patron's library card in here and it will always be the green card unless they happen to be a teacher or a student who doesn't live in our district but goes to our school. Now that hardly ever happens, but sometimes it will. The next thing is, this is the password they should write down or you should write down for them that gains them access to the account on our website through Evergreen so they can place holds, renew books, etc. You want to put in their name, middle, first name, middle name, last name here. Put in their birth date here. Put in their driver's license. If they're under 18, put the parent guardian's name here. Email address if they want it. Phone number. That's another thing they'll probably they need to supply. Now here, this is important. You want to select if they're resident or non-resident. Those are the two here. Here's resident and here's non-resident. I'll talk through if they're a non-resident in the payment stuff later, but those are mainly the two that you're going to choose from. We don't do much of the other. And it'll automatically autofill in an expiration date. You don't have to f mess with this except for here. It's a good time to ask, hey, if we place a hold for you, how would you like to be notified? Do you want Evergreen to automatically email you? Do you want Evergreen to automatically phone you or would you rather us do it? If they would rather a personal call, you uncheck this. And then you put in their mailing address. If you type in 46567, it auto fills in the rest, which is nice. Or, you know, the other one for Cromwell or what have you, it auto fills it in. Make sure that you put the address in all caps. You don't have to do the any of the rest of this registering in all caps, but the mail has to. Um, if they have a lake address, and so you're putting in their Florida address here or their Indianapolis address or whatever. You want to click on new address here and fill in, let's say maybe it's their lake address. Make sure you ask them if they are Lakers, which place they would rather get their mail sent to. And then you would choose that here under mailing and billing and make sure you tell them, hey, that's where we're going to send if you have overdue. So make sure that's where you would get your mail. And once it's all filled in, you click save over here and they're in the system.